Today we have with us Dr. Ashok Rathan, who will be enlightening us about tuberculosis. World Tuberculosis Day is observed on 24th March, and this year it is themed around Yes, we can end TB. It is still a major killer, with 10.6 million cases and 1.3 million deaths reported in 2000. post that there have been lot of changes and lives up to 75 million have been saved with our efforts to eradicate tuberculosis today we will be knowing more about this fatal disease from dr ashok rathan thank you so much doctor for coming and we would like to know more about tuberculosis from you well tuberculosis is a disease of great antiquity there is mention of tuberculosis in the mummies found 9000 years back and uh, for many years we were focusing on control of tuberculosis it was in 2015 that uh, the united nations got many of the heads of states together and formulated uh, end tuberculosis in 2015 with the aim that by uh, 2035 tuberculosis will no longer be a disease of public health importance and that actually means that it will become less than 10 per 100000 population at that time it was 204 per 100000 population in many parts of it, of the world so since 2015 we have been focusing on end tuberculosis so we are focusing on elimination rather than just control but it is a disease which has killed uh, which has claimed more than 1 billion uh, people since it was discovered on 24th march 1882 by robert cock doctor what is the current global burden of tuberculosis in 2023 WHO reports 10.6 million cases with 1.6 million deaths. India accounts for 25% of of cases and deaths as well as of uh, multi drug resistance tuberculosis. So India alone accounts for 25% of the world tuberculosis problem. How does it impact the lungs? Tuberculosis can be transmitted by two routes. One is through inhalation and the second is through drinking milk from infected cows. Since we have a habit of boiling milk, the intestinal tuberculosis is normally not a big problem from drinking milk. But uh, inhalation of uh, Uh, of the bacteria uh, on uh, droplet nuclei is very common and since we live in crowded places and move around in crowded situations many of us are exposed to the bacteria then depending upon our own immunity some of us will remain only infected but not diseased but about 5% will go on to disease so in india uh, they are at, as i said 25% of world's burden of infection that would mean about 2 million or there are about 2.5 million cases of tuberculosis would be there how does it spread then from one person to another uh, through the air uh, through infected air so if you are traveling in close environments or uh, so suppose uh, there is a teacher who's uh, who's infected with uh, tb and not on treatment then he can infect the whole class so okay. one way of stopping uh, spread is for diagnosis of tuberculosis and putting the person on the right treatment as soon as possible actually diagnosis is the biggest stumbling block in eradication of tuberculosis uh, partly because we have been using methods 
which uh, Robert Koch used in 1882. That was smear microscopy. Even today, if we use smear microscopy, then we are really doing a disservice to the society because uh, it takes about 10,000 bacteria to be present before it is detected in the sputum. Uh, sputum microscopy is cheap, it is quick, it is available, but it is inadequate. That's why WHO has been saying we should use molecular methods which will detect 16 bacteria. So uh, if we use molecular methods as the initial diagnostic method, then we'll be able to detect the infection faster. Uh, by the time we detect by smear microscopy, which uh, last year was done in 80% of cases, the person has already infected 15 to 25 persons. So if we continue to do that, there is no hope of eradication. Unless we change our methods, unless we improve our diagnostic strategy, we are going to be in big soup. Doctor, are there any screening tests to diagnose tuberculosis? Yes, uh, for the last 100 years or so, uh, they have been using old tuberculin, also known as PPD, purified protein derivative, which actually is a mixture of extracts, various protein extracts from mycobacteria. This is injected intra, uh, intradermal and within 48 hours, there is an induration, there's a swelling around the site of infection. That would mean that the person is infected. So that could be used as a good screening method. But since the PPD was neither purified nor all protein, recently two antigens, which are personal to mycobacterium tuberculosis, have been cloned and now they are available from Serum Institute of India through my lab and this would serve the purpose of identifying persons who have been exposed to tuberculosis. That will show tuberculosis infection. Uh, when tuberculosis occurs, there is actually cough, there's fever, there's night sweats, and there's loss of weight. So if these four things occur, then a person should come to the, uh, to the, the hospital to be screen for tuberculosis. Uh, there is also a new uh, digital uh, artificial intelligence where they can take digital x-rays and they can run through artificial intelligence which within one minute will indicate whether the lung has hot spots indicating that there is infection so that then molecular methods could be done. How can we prevent the spread of tuberculosis? See, diagnosis of persons and putting them on treatment is one sure method. So our focus has to be to quickly and rapidly detect and the moment we find that a person is infected, put him on treatment. So that will be the number one criteria. And tuberculosis has also said that not only persons who are diseased, but even those who are infected with tuberculosis, showing no signs of tuberculosis, except for being positive with, with exposure, they also need to get treatment. In India, it's still in the beginning stage, while our treatment, we are focusing on treatment first, but we need to treat not only disease, but also infection. And then you'll find that half, um, about, uh, one third of the world's population is infected with tuberculosis. So that's a gigantic figure. Doctor, what message would you like to give to our audience? For tuberculosis, we are fortunate that there is great political, financial and technical support made available. Just as in the case of COVID, we need to work together to identify cases and put them on treatment so that we use this great opportunity 
to eliminate tuberculosis as a public health problem if we do not work together now we may never get this kind of opportunity again